Joining us for 10 Tampa Bay this weekend, I'm Miranda Parnell. A listeria outbreak is being linked to an ice cream company based in Sarasota. The CDC is advising customers to throw out products from Big Olaf Creamery. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio shares how much this outbreak is possibly affecting you. Officials from the CDC believe at least six people contracted listeria from Big Olaf brand ice cream. It's only being sold in Florida. A company officer, David Peachy, says his company started reaching out to stores on their own, recommending they stop selling the products. But he says the stores are all independently owned, so the decision about selling products rests solely with them. We went to one Big Olaf Creamery store in Sarasota, still open and serving customers. A person inside who identified herself as an owner says the investigation is still ongoing and states there hasn't been a definitive connection to Big Olaf ice cream. She says she feels the products are safe until they can get exact confirmation that Listeria is in fact linked to their products. The CDC is recommending customers who have this brand of ice cream to throw them away and they're recommending businesses to stop selling this product. As of Saturday, the CDC has listed 23 people with listeria. In Sarasota, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. And that investigation is still continuing. Big Olaf ice cream is sold statewide with three locations in Sarasota, one in Venice and one in the Lakewood Ranch area. And it also supplies 15 partner shops across the state. Now, this isn't the first Listeria outbreak linked to ice cream. Let's take a deeper dive here. First, according to the CDC, Listeria is an infection you can get from eating contaminated food with the bacteria. And it can seriously impact pregnant women and their newborns, adults 65 and older, and people with weakened immune systems. About 1,600 people get listeria every year. Now, a listeria outbreak was previously linked to the popular ice cream company, Bluebell Creameries. Back in 2015, the company recalled its products off the shelves in 23 states after three people died and 10 people were hospitalized. It forced the company to lay off over a third of its workforce.